good morning. I've been in there all, all night. I slept on the job type of thing. Done that many a turn. Right, well, we're, uh, we're going to crack on today and we're hopefully going to push and get this uh, finished or as near as damn it as we can. Obviously, the roof is the main uh, concern. It did rain last night, but although it got a bit wet, it's uh, not done it any damage. So, today, put this spar in, get our felting on and our fascia boards and that, which will start making it nice. I've also brought some pieces, just for run over there and at the back, that will just make it uh, look nice, some old bit of skirting board. Right, Mrs H is going to go on the brush and paint all these pieces of wood for me, because, uh, you know, it's all about saving a bit of time. So, let's, uh, let's push on and get the job done, as my old boss used to say. It's solid up against wall. Uh, I think what we'll do now is we'll work on the roof, we've got to get a 50mm overhang, so I've got to pull it down back of there before I fasten that to wall, otherwise we'll have problems. So that's next thing now, the roof. So we're going to do a bit of measuring, find out where this felt drops, and then I can put this uh, spur in, which hopefully will fit in. Now again, I've gone off the uh, further in large measurements, which maybe I shouldn't have done after that, but... I was down there at home and he was here and I forgot to measure it. So, we'll uh, we'll give it a go when we get that spur now. Roofless. All this measuring, see. How's that doing sticking out of your tongue? You went to stick your tongue out. Oh, is that what I meant to do? Oh, that's what you usually do. Yeah, <laughs> bugger, Mrs. Edge. Actually, I'm going to go round. Job's worth doing. It's worth doing wrong with a nail too short and a screw too long. Cowboys. Well, we've got our roof on now and we've got that purling in. Um, let's see. There we go. I missed a couple of times because I was at full stretch. Fortunately, there's absolutely nothing you can. Uh, you can lean on. You've only got a small thing. God only knows how we're going to get felt on, but we will. You can see, that's a strength there. Put some little extra pieces in above here, just to support it, so it pressure's all downward. Right then, I want to knock off now, we're going to have our dinner, and then uh, we'll get this felt on, and then fasten this to the wall. Right then, uh, let's go. We're at the back of the shed, you've not seen this, uh, this side of it, have you, hot potters, but unfortunately, Mr H, he needs to grow a few feet. I've been using little piddling ladders here, so we'll have to go and get some uh, man ladders from someone who has some across the road. So we're going to attempt with that, because uh, it's a bit difficult, this felt, and I don't really want to go on that roof of that shed, because they don't make them very stable, you know, for a big lad like me. Right then. We'll uh, measure our felt. There's plenty of felt at least, haven't we? And uh, away we go. So let's uh, let's crack on, as always. And there's the roof completed. Line a flash band. 
between the wall and the shed so no water can get down back. And my lats on to stop the uh, wind pulling the felt up. But once again they use the cheapest of felt so you're always better putting some lats on so it doesn't rip off in storms. Right, I'll go down the ladder now. Well, I'm just having our pudding now. We're uh, coming up to the last little bits. I'm going to get a, another little board along the bottom just to add uh, me uh, struts underneath. Get uh, this little bar on for the lock and then that's it for tonight. I didn't get away with finishing it all off today. I'll have to uh, come back again. A for put some guttering on and uh, B for put three bolts in my drill bit just wasn't long enough. For the sake of 10 mil. I've got another day coming back here. Might be a dinner in it though. Mmm, lovely. Well, we've got a bar on it. Uh, we've come to the end of today's work. Now I'm going to put these coach bolts through. Unfortunately, they need a bit of fettling. There's a bit of a gap though, and it'll destroy keeper. So I'm going off to, to file that bit off. I'll take them back. Seeing as I've come so far now, I don't want the cocking job up right at end, do I? So that's it basically. We we'll just need three bolts in there into the wall. We need that pouring in there like that, and uh, we're going to put some. We've decided to put some guttering on because uh, obviously water will just congregate down there. But basically, that's it. So there you go. That's how you build a shed. The hard way, my Mrs H. Well, until the next time. From myself, from Mrs H, and the rain. Bye bye for now.